In this video, I'm going to go over the at exit function in C, which allows us to assign a function to run when our program exits. So the first thing I'll do is include stdlib.h, because this is the library where the function is defined. Then I'll make a function to actually run on exit. So I'll say here void cleanup, and we'll provide a definition of the function down here. Now the reason why I'm calling it cleanup is that's actually the typical use case of at exit, is to set up a function to do some sort of cleanup work when a program exits. So here I'll say printf, doing some cleanup work. And then here, I'll use at exit. I'll say at exit, and I'll pass it the function cleanup. So this is something you might not have seen in C, but we can actually pass functions as arguments. And we're giving at exit cleanup as an argument. And it's going to run cleanup when the program exits. So here if we say printf, do some work, and then we say here exit zero, and we save this and run it, we're gonna get do some work output, and we're also gonna get doing some cleanup work. And that's because the cleanup function is gonna run at exit. Now it actually doesn't matter whether we have an exit zero here or a return zero here, we could get rid of this. And if our program exits due to a return zero, it's gonna have the same effect. It'll also run the cleanup function, and we'll also get doing some cleanup work. So now this cleanup function isn't really doing anything too special we could do something a little bit more interesting. For example, maybe we could actually output how long our program's been running for. So we'll include the time.h library to help us do that. We'll say here, include time.h, and we'll make a couple global variables for the program start time and end time. We'll say here, time t start and end. And what we'll do is record the start time when the program first starts up, record the end time in the cleanup function, and then we'll output the difference. So here we'll say time and start. And this is gonna save the start time of the program into that start variable here. And then our cleanup function, we'll get the end time. We'll say here time and end, and we'll get the end time. Then we'll get the difference between the two of them. We'll say double diff is equal to diff time and start. And then we'll output this difference. So we'll say here printf execution time percent f slash n and we'll output that difference there. Let's actually have our program ask the user for a value. So that way we can have the program hang for a certain amount of seconds, depending on how long we actually wait to enter the value. So here we'll say int value is equal to zero, printf enter will prompt the user to enter the value. We'll store what they enter into this value variable here. And then we'll output the value here. We'll say value percent D. And then the value variable as the int to output. So if we save this here now and run it, we can wait maybe just a few seconds the first time. We'll put in two and we get an execution time of three seconds. And that makes sense. That was about three seconds. If I run it again, this time we'll wait 10 seconds. So we'll run it here and we'll say Mississippi one, Mississippi two, Mississippi three, Mississippi four, Mississippi five, Mississippi six, Mississippi seven, Mississippi 8, Mississippi 9. Okay, it's got to be at least 10 seconds now. We'll put in 2, and we get an execution time of 12 seconds. And so that's what we can do with this cleanup function, is we can have it run when the program exits, and we can have it do maybe some stuff that's a little bit more useful, like outputting performance data or outputting log data that's important about how the program executed. And this is how we can use the at exit function in C to run a function when a program exits. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.